All right, welcome to another episode of Dog Talking Coffee with me, Richard Hines. Today I'm going to talk about a universal problem that most owners go through. I see it in service dogs that are supposed to be trained. I see it in police dogs that are supposed to be trained. I see it in all areas of life, in dogs that are supposed to be trained, but I also see it in the public that are trying to train their dogs not to jump on people in public, okay? So this is a universal problem that everybody goes through. So in this video, I'm gonna explain to you the steps that are necessary to make this really good, right? <laughs> and what not to do. So, now we're talking about in public, not when somebody comes to your house, that's a whole separate issue of jumping, but we're talking about control when going out in public and not having your dog pull you and go to jump on people <laughs> when you're out walking them in public. Okay, so number one, your dog has to have a great, perfect heel. Oh, wow. Okay, now I'm gonna show you these two dogs, two of my clients, that are both service dogs that were in the training for their service dog certification, right? In my system, it's mandatory that dogs must heal perfectly on leash. They must sit when they're told immediately. They must stay no matter what. No jumping on anybody in public ever, okay, and the system is clear and clean, right, to my client's dogs, my own dogs, all right, so there's a few components to this that are missing and lacking in most other systems, so there's a constant struggle and a nagging to stop people's dogs from jumping up on everyone they meet. So, 
back to the heel thing. I want a perfect heel, no nagging, hey, over here, heel, hey, look at me, <laughs> right? If you've seen my YouTube channel, if you've ever been with me in person for any of my millions of clients, you will never ever see any of my own dogs or my clients dogs ever being nagged. Hey, no, over here, heel, hey, over here, right? There's no such thing. That means the dog is not trained, okay? So a trained heel is heel, and I never have to say a word to you, I never beg, I never pull with leashes, I never, right, I never guide a dog, talk to him to get him back in position for not focusing, right, it's heel, leash, no leash, doesn't matter, it's all the same to me, and the dog should walk perfectly in heel together, or singly, right, no matter what, perfectly, with no nonsense, nothing, no, <laughs> coaxing, convincing, and having to get focus back. Just like these two. them down this way and you'll do it so now just so everybody knows these two dogs love each other they don't live in the same home right they're two different owners when we bring them together to train they love each other right they go crazy when they see each other Good girl. And I think she enjoys learning. Right. Mm -hmm. think they enjoy learning. <laughs> I love how they stay there. That's amazing. <laughs> So this gives me the perfect training opportunity of high level because since they love people, love dogs, and love each other, right, to be able to tame them, control them, to get their service dog thing right, to go out in public and have them behave, we use each other, okay? So since there again, their heels are perfect, we have them walking perfectly together with the owners without going after each other and trying to play with each other in any nonsense. Their sit stays have to be phenomenal. And then they're just tall, Bonnie. Right? Right, right. Good. Now you can try.
scrap so unless he moved. Tell them break. Just tell them break. Break. When you break, super. Uh, good. Oh, if you want, we can bring them there for a sec. We'll let them run around a little bit, just as a relief. Their sits have to be good to start with. Okay, so what does this all encompass? How, how do we get this together so it all works together? Not the jump, right? So, as we're healing, if the heel is perfect, the dogs understand they're not allowed to leave the leg ever for another dog, for a human, right even people they know so when the leg game is perfect we know that when we stop or we pass people or things they will not leave us to try to go and jump at things okay our leg heel game is very solid okay dog understanding leg is life there's no coming off leg unless we give you a release command to come off the leg to go play with dogs or go to people, right, to say hello. The dog understands this clearly. So in my system, there is none of this that people are taught or learn, right, from other training systems. Heal, they go healing, they stop, they go sit, stay, stay, right? And then people try to come touch them. Ah, ah stay, stay. Dogs start to move, ah, ah stay right the fight the struggle of trying to keep their dogs from jumping out of the people that are doing that okay so generally the first thing is those dogs don't have a really good solid heel game secondly how good is the sit stay game okay so here you're gonna see right because first we have the heels we have the sit, we have sit stay. So, what do we do? We put the dogs, right? We use somebody else, healing. We stop them, they both sit at heel. One owner comes and leaves their dog in a sit stay because we're gonna test the sit stay on the other dog now when their owner leaves them and goes to pet the other dog. Oh, that's okay, yeah, we'll switch. Right. Mm -hmm. Good, then you're gonna go. No, I got a bun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do what we did last time. I'm, I'm gonna switch because the sun's on my camera. Learning that people will come into you, right, when we're in heel and you're not released. You stay in your sit, stay at heel because it's really about the heel, not the sit, stay. Okay? So here's the confusion. The dog's in a sit my system. When we stop, dogs automatically sit, okay? We didn't say sit, stay, at the heel. It's implied, we heel, we stop, they sit.
okay? So it's all about the leg game. Teaching them not to go and leave the leg at all, not even a step. It's not a sit stay, right? Here's the confusion. So all people go sit, stay, right? While trying to have somebody come touch their dog or whatever, right? So it's about the heel, not know, knowing that they cannot pass the heel, come off the leg in healing. They know the heel, the leg game is tight, tight, right? In life. So when they go into a sit, it's implied they're in a stay. But I never tell the dog stay. We never warn them, ah, ah, stay when people come close. There's no communication whatsoever to the dog. When the person comes on to go pet the dog, the dog just has to sit there and hold the leg. It's not the sit stay. Right? That's the difference. Because our dogs have such a good heel and know that when they're in a sit, even though again we didn't ask for it here on the heel, they know that generally if they sit their butt to the ground, there's two factors right now going on. Well, they're still in the heel even though they sat, right? That does not mean because they sat, they're out of the heel game. So they weren't released, so they're still focusing on staying with the leg even though they sat. It's not a sit stay, okay? We did not go stay. It's implied when we're healing, we heal, we stop, the dog sits, implied they just put themselves in a sit, now it's an implied behavior that they stay in that position and never leave it, okay? Because it's the heel game, not the sit-stay game. So the owner, other owner comes and touches, pets, trying to lure the dog in excitement, see if he's gonna move out of that spot or not, right? Good, good, and then we back away trying to lure the dog in to see if he'll follow that owner out right, to make a mistake. If the dog does not know the game or the leg well, they're going to make the mistake and they're going to follow an owner out, right, the other owner out after that owner pets them and starts to back away. Okay, and then here we switch, right, so our sit stays are good, our one-on-one -on -one going to pet the other one's good, perfect. So now I'm going to have the owners leave each other's dog and go pet the other one's dogs, holding on their own now, right, without the leg to hold. Now I'm testing their sit stays, okay? So it's a different scenario. And can they hold a sit stay while now by themselves with no leg to hold and the stimulation of somebody else petting without the leg being there to hold, will they leave it and get excited and try to leave the position because the owner's leg is not there? Actually, if you want, you could tell them both stay and you could switch and just you pet that one, you pet that one. Okay, okay and then we just go back so to I the... Pet Max and this is not there. Right. Okay. okay. So you go away now? Right, so you're gonna go pet Bonnie and you're gonna pet... You gonna pet Bonnie? Is that you gonna pet Bonnie? So these are the perfect scenarios, right, of we have a few different elements going on to make this perfect and fantastic anywhere we go, okay? So one-on-one -on -one again, heel has to be perfect with no leash help, no, hey, hell, over here, heel help, uh, there's no lang perfect healing, okay? The sit stays got to have to be great. Those are the steps, and that 
is the guide to how to get your dog perfectly under control and being out in public with them and not have to worry about them jumping, getting out of control, right? And being embarrassed that they're gonna pull away and jump on everybody and pull you away and pull you to dogs and all those kind of things. All right, so there it is. Those are the guidelines to how to stop your dog from jumping up on people in public. Okay, so till next time, Richard Hines, Miami Dog Whisperer.